Hey everybody, uh, John the Other here, obviously. And I want to start with a uh, hypothetical question. Let's say you got a puppy. You get a little dog, you know, German Shepherd or a Boxer or some other dog that starts with a little puppy and it's going to get a big, it's going to become a big puppy, big dog. And the way you raise that dog is, you know, sometimes when it does things that are positive, you punish it. Other times you reward its positive behavior. Sometimes you starve it, and other times you just feed it until it's bloated and it can't, you know, eat anymore. And maybe as it grows up, you start randomly punishing it, sometimes violently punishing it, beat it with a stick, and other times you heap it with, uh, you, you know, you love bomb the dog. So you did that throughout the, ch throughout the uh, puppy's life as it grew up to be a bigger dog. Do you think that you would get a dog that was well socialized and appropriately of appropriate disposition to be you know in your family with your kids and all that stuff or would you have an erratic psychotic violent dog that was prone to bite you and maybe bite your kid i don't think i have to answer that you can figure it out well we'll come back to that we are in the midst right now of a moral panic a phony moral panic <laughs> one as if there's only one I'm talking about one just now. We are in the midst of a of a phony moral panic about guns right now, about school shootings. There's obviously this recent school shooting in Florida. This kid shot a bunch of people, and everybody's all worked up shootings. But we have this um, phony, I say, moral panic of people demanding that something be done to stop school shootings. And one of the things that's happened is there's been a petition created against a sporting goods company, a sporting goods retailer called Mountain Equipment Co-op. And Mountain Equipment Co-op sells um, running shoes and thermal socks and tents and tent poles and, uh, you know, fleece vests and canoes and canoe paddles and uh, bike helmets and uh, portable camp stoves and all kinds of other outdoor sporting equipment and baseball bats and hockey sticks and everything else, okay? They don't sell any guns, though. They're not that kind of a sporting goods store. They're kind of a hipster... Uh, social justice oriented sporting goods uh, retailer and it's membership based and I've been a member of Mountain Equipment Co-op since I was <laughs> nine years old I have a really low membership number and the petition was started against Mountain Equipment Co-op uh, that they must divest themselves of any products manufactured by a company called Camelback and another company which make like water bottles and a Camelback which is like a backpack that fills it's got a, a squeeze bag full of water with a drinking straw attached to it, which are made by a company that's part of a group of companies, one of which makes guns. But they're separate companies. Just like General Electric makes the General Electric minigun, but also makes toasters. <laughs> nobody, nobody is telling anybody that they need to boycott General Electric toasters and waffle irons and desk lamps because General Electric makes miniguns which are used to murder people in third world countries, right? And that's why I say this is fake. It's a phony moral panic. So this petition was against Mount Equipment Co-op to, to stop selling any of these products made by any of these companies which are part of this group of company, one of which makes guns. So all the people working for Camelback and the water bottle company and the other companies that don't make guns, their jobs are going to be impacted. The manufacturing is going to be impacted, so it's going to hurt the national economy of Canada, the United States, the retailers, the shippers. It's going to have this widespread damaging effect on a whole bunch of people who are actually completely innocent, even if you look at the idea of a company that makes legal firearms as guilty. These other companies don't make firearms. They're not guilty. The, the salesmen, the manufacturing, the plastics engineers, the shippers and the receivers, all these people's jobs are going to be affected loss of money, loss of income, loss of careers, and so on. That's how we're going to be virtuous, right? Pat ourselves on the back because we stopped Mountain Equipment Co-op, a really big retailer, from selling a water bottle from a company that doesn't make guns but is part of a group of companies that makes a gun legally that was used in a school shooting, right? This is the idea, this is the logic. But we're not going to ban general anybody from selling General Electric toasters or the General Electric food processor because it's from the same parent company that makes the General Electric minigun, right? No, no, that would be unreasonable because I have one of those, a toaster. And meanwhile, let's go back to the puppy. 
we are not going to do anything at all about the school system infested with an ideology that tells young little children, tiny little children, and older children, and then more adult children, and teenagers, and college kids, the school system, the educational system, and largely the government, infested with an ideology that pours scorn and hatred and loathing on children because of their sex or because of their race. That if you're if if you have my color of skin, which is actually not as white as it looks on this camera because of the lighting, but if you have to be racist. You absolutely must be racist because you have this color of skin. And you absolutely have to be a misogynist and a sexist and your your sexual identity is toxic if you have the same kind of genitals that I do. Right? We're going to teach that. We're going to keep teaching that to little kids. We're going to tell them that their identity is toxic and poisonous and that they are in fact responsible for historical atrocities, some of which may not even have happened, but let's assume they all happened. Historical atrocities committed by somebody who happens to have the same skin color but is now long dead and may not even be related to them, they're responsible, they're evil because of that. That's what we're going to keep doing. And we're going to expect them all to grow up to be healthy and well socially adjusted and not filled with a twisted logic that makes them eventually, some of them, want to go get a gun and kill somebody. Not fills them with this uh, nihilism, this self-loathing, this despair. We're going to keep pouring scorn and hatred into the heads of little kids. Because they're white, they must be racist. Because they're male, they must be toxic. They must be rapists. Instead, we're going to ban the gun. No, no, actually, no. We're going to, we're going to attack the people selling a water bottle because they work for a company that's part of a group of companies that also manufactures the gun. Right? It's, well, well done. Mm, I'm virtuous. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's great. And because we are afraid, as a society, we are afraid to speak up and say, no, actually, I think the reason that some people go fucking bonkers is because we fill their heads with scorn and hatred and loathing for themselves. No, no, it's not that. It's the gun. Yeah, that's the problem. By the way, there's a bridge in um, Vancouver. There's a bunch of bridges because we're a city on the coast. There's a bridge called the Patolo Bridge. And every once in a while, somebody jumps off it and kills themselves. So um, clearly, we need a royal commission to look into what exactly is wrong with that bridge and tear it down because people are jumping off it and killing themselves it's the bridge <laughs> yeah let's become a country and a culture that buys into clearly false ideas that we all mouth words that we don't agree with we know our lies let's all lie all the time and when we are lied to yes that's true <laughs> <laughs> and and see how that works out for us see if that doesn't result in fucking uh, a utopia right <laughs> so tell me what else do you think needs to be said but perhaps you haven't quite worked up the nerve yet yourself to say in public put in the comments or send it to me in an email I'll put it in my next video um, thanks everybody for watching thanks for subscribing and a special thanks to the people helping support the channel through PayPal, Patreon, links to that in the low bar and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.